Do y'all ever record yourselves at different angles to see what other people see? No? Just me? Okay. Christmas is in two weeks, and I have to tighten up my Christmas list. The only person whose gifts that I, I purchased was mine and the baby. I'm still trying to figure out what to get the boys. Um... I'm trying to think if I want to give them something practical, but they've gotten to the age where they just ask for cash. But, you know, I'm trying to be thoughtful. I'm trying to see, like, what is it that they really like. Um, my oldest, I was thinking about getting him car accessories, like car stuff. I hope they don't watch this video. Actually, I don't think he do. I don't think he watches these videos. I was thinking about getting, like, car accessories, like, things for his car. Or maybe, like, an outfit or jewelry. He has an Apple Watch. I was thinking of getting him like a gold Apple Watch band or like a leather band. But lately I realized he's been leaving it. Like he hasn't been really wearing it. So I'm not even sure if he'd really care for it. Like if that would help him wear it more. But I just thought that would be a cool idea. Like, you know, have different bands so he could wear with different outfits. Or I can get him. I was going to get him a hoodie. Like we live in Florida, but this, they love wearing hoodies, even in 90 degree weather. So I was thinking about getting him a hoodie, but I'm not 100% sure. I was thinking about getting him some hats, some designer hats, but he has hair and the hair won't, he can't put the cap over the hair. Then I thought about getting him some cologne or skincare. And I just felt like I've done that before. That's boring. I'm trying to be a little bit more thoughtful. Um, he has like, he has an iPad. He has an Xbox. He has, like, the electronics that he wants. So, I was thinking about getting him something for the car or maybe, I don't know, like, a trip. Like, give him with a trip. I got myself, I got myself a new work bag, but it was a bag that I've been having my eye on. I haven't really been thinking about, like, material things. I don't even buy, I don't buy like knickknacks for the house anymore because like it already has enough, excuse me, enough knickknacks. But I do want to go on vacation. I think that's what I'll do. I'll go on vacation. Yo, glasses are really like makeup. Like, look at this. I look like this. And then when I put this on, I feel like I look like Clark Kent. <laughs> Superman. One thing I got, I have to stop doing is frowning this area. Like, I'm, look, like, I just, I can't help it. Like, I just, I'm always, like, raising that eyebrow. And I can see it tugging, like, right here. I have my scar right here. You know, now that it's here, I can see, like, I can see the where they cut I can see where the stitches, like the dots with the stitches. The plastic surgeon had told me that if I didn't like it, I can come back. But, like, what are you going to do? Like, there's nothing much that I could do. I've been thinking about getting my eyebrows microbladed. So I want to do it with the, I think they call it micro shading, when you just do the strokes. I just want, like, the strokes for them to do the strokes. And I could, I've been doing these lashes myself because I'm not spending $200 to go get individuals put in and then they all fall out. Everyone I know that gets them done, they fall out after a week. I thought about growing my hair back for like a split second because I saw some box braids and I was like, oh, I want some box braids. And I don't know, the wig, I know they have the box braids wigs, but I can't like, I have a wig in the house and I don't feel confident with a wig. I know some people like it's just normal now to see somebody with a wig, but I don't care what they say about how thin the lace is or how soft it is. I can see the neck and if I can see it, that's, I don't like it. And that's enough for me. And it's kind of crazy for me to be, I have the capacity I have the capability to grow hair really long and I choose not to. And then for me to slap on a wig, <laughs> but some days I do, I just want, like, I want, I want a, I want a high ponytail. I miss, I miss, I miss putting your hair up in a nice high ponytail. Ooh. I miss a nice little bob, you know, little, little bob, but there's just something about a shortcut that I'm at home. Had I known what I knew 
back way back then when like when I was younger, oh my god, I would have looked so fire with a short cut like in my twenties, a little pixie or a little short cut. And back then I was like so opposed to dyeing my hair because my mother used to be like, oh, like I had like that. I had like a unique color blonde, and my hair had natural highlights, so I didn't want to dye my hair. But if I could go back, I probably would have did like a, a sandy brown, um, a little red, like a strawberry blonde. No, I, strawberry I probably would have been a little too much. I did that in high school, uh, so a little too much. But maybe like a lighter blonde, like a or or a brown, ooh, like a, a nice, just toasted brown like a like a cappuccino brown oh my god with some hoop earrings and that skinny little body i had oh my god like my body was banging back there i remember when i used to there was certain parts i used to pinch and i used to be like oh my god i didn't like this my body was fire my body was fire like i could wear anything back then i had a cute shape oh if i could go back know what i know now oh my god if i could put this level of confidence in that girl's body oh let me tell you there would have been a lot of men that would have never had a chance there would have been a lot of relationships not had the circumstances uh and the direction of my life would have been totally different i think if i can go back let me see if I can go back, let's say, let me go back to 18. If I could go back to 18, I would get out more. Like I would make more connections within the community, right? I would be more intentional with my decision making. I would find a mentor, someone to with more experience that could give me proper advice and guidance. There was a lot of missed opportunities on my part because I was operating in a scarcity mindset that had I been operating in, in a in a abundance mindset, I would have been further. There are friendships that I could not recognize the value in back then that would have been amazing for me had I had self-esteem and the confidence to see my value, then I would have been able to appreciate those women value. I think... I would have went for more stable careers. Like I would have, I probably would have applied. Like I didn't know about city jobs. I was in New York and I didn't know about city jobs. I would have applied early for a city job. I would have started applying for like in high school, start applying for a city job because that would have set me up. That would have been a great foundation that would have led me to a higher degree of success. I would rely on my family more. There are some members in my family that really was, pushing and encouraging me but at the time I was so hurt and they I don't think they realized how hurt I was and how deep how deeply I felt betrayed that had they realized that or they were able to see that in me I believe that they would have engaged and interacted with me differently but now now that my siblings are older I think they understand me better, but I'm not even sure they would have been ready for that conversation. You know, sometimes you can think of, you can look back, but people like may not have been ready for that conversation. They're only ready now because they have more experience and they're older, but they may not have been ready than had I said what I felt or wanted to say. I would have betted on myself more. There was a lot of decisions that I didn't make out of fear, which was really silly. Confidence does play a big part in how you navigate the world. You make decisions based on what you feel you deserve. You make decisions based on what you feel that you're worth. And back then, I felt I was inexperienced. I felt that I did not have sufficient education. I felt like I had to like get a certain degree in order for me to be employed in certain places. I was not as personable as I am now. The only reason I am personable now is because of my ex-husband. He, he had a personality that everyone gravitated towards. And one of my homegirls, like she could work a room. She was a Virgo and she knew how to work a room. And just by observing them, 
they taught me how to socialize. And that's why you really have to get your kids into activities and around people so that they can learn how to socialize. Because I grew up in Dominica and the way children are socialized in Dominica and they, the way they are socialized in the United States are two different, different perspectives. And that culture shock of immigrating into the United States at 10 years old really affected me deeply and it was very traumatizing. And my mother recently was recalling how when she first came in, how she was so depressed, being away from family, being away from everything that she knew. And I was telling her, I was like, well, mom, you didn't think that I may have had those same sentiments when I immigrated. I, I left my home, everything I knew, people I knew my whole life to come to a totally different country to go to school that was totally different, to be, um, to experience weather that was totally different. I couldn't go outside as freely as I could back home. There was so many new dangers, so many new ways to navigate. That affected me. That was traumatizing. Like immigrating to the States was traumatizing. And I do think it's because I immigrated to Queens. If I was in Brooklyn with other West Indian kids, I probably would have had an easier time. But because I was in Queens where it was not that many West Indian kids, so I didn't feel like there was anybody there that I could relate to, I had a hard time assimilating. Like I had a very hard time. In like sixth grade to eighth grade, I had a very hard time. I didn't really start like settling in until high school. And then even then I still didn't know me right? I still was trying to fit in. I still was trying to adjust. Like I was trying on different personalities and, and trying on different identities. Like, you know, what most kids who do not have a good sense of self do, like they try to be different people to see which person fits them. I will say like, it wasn't until I was about 16 that I had an astute sense of self where I'm like, okay, I don't like that. I don't like this. Okay. But I was still very impressionable. And it took from 16 up until I was about 24, 25 for me to develop a good sense of self. And it, it, it happened due to trial and error and a lot of hard knocks that could have been avoided had I remain back home. I do believe if I would have stayed back home around what I was accustomed to and the people that I knew when I grew up, I wouldn't have had that identity crisis that I did because I immigrated. Today, I'm dressed like a F boy. I got my man purse. I got, I just went and got a haircut too. But I have to put, um, I'm gonna wait till it grab a little bit and I'll probably bleach it. I like how it looks like natural highlights, but I don't mind this color. I redid my nails. I cut them short. I had to soak them off, but I didn't have the energy to soak them off, so I just cut them short. So it's looking very natural. And I'm eating some soup. My throat a little sore. I have a post nasal sinus strip, but I just got something new that I'm excited about. It's supposed to be like. Oh. I told myself it was going to be my Christmas present to myself, but I think I'm still going to get myself something else. It's these Givenchy shoes that I've been dying. For. Like For like the past three years, I've been like, every time I go to Saks, I look at it and I don't know why I just don't pull the trigger and buy, purchase them. But I don't like closed toe shoes. And now that I'm getting older, my feet swell. Like after a couple of hours, like if, the, if I'm wearing loafers, like the, the, the indentation, my feet start swelling and it's like, it starts hurting. I'm, I'm an old lady, so I don't prefer to wear those kind of shoes, but I want those Givenchy sneakers, and I think this year I'm probably going to go get it because they used to have this red and white one that I like. If I can find a picture of it, I'm going to put it up on the screen. We used to have this red and white one that I wanted, and I did not get it at the time, and when I go on the Givenchy website, they have this new black and white webbing, all white webbing. And I can't remember if there's another color style that I can't remember. But I want to get the black and white. It's either the black and white 
Givenchy or I'm going to get some black and white um, ones. And I'm not really a sneaker girl. Don't know much about sneakers. I like sneakers that I can like dress up like it's versatile. You know how some sneakers like kind of like that Parisian look where you could wear your skirt and your sneakers, those type of sneakers. But I'm going to show you what I got myself. This is my new baby. It is a Marc Jacobs tote bag. This one is in a size large. This is the Jacquard tote bag. Jacquard just means when the when the design is sewn into the bag and not printed on that. And it's in the size large. I'm 5'3". A lot of people were saying, oh, the large is too big, the large is too big. But I wanted this specifically for work. And the back here it says, Mark Jacobs, style the tote bag, location, and the year. This is the price tag on it. It kind of reminds me of the D Dior book tote. But. I don't have Dior book tote money or the Louis Vuitton money as well. And that's especially because I know I'll be using this for work. I'm going to be hard on this bag. This is not going to be a bag that I'm going to really be gentle on. So that's the dust bag. It's pretty deep. It has a pocket on the inside. Let me know if you want me to like really do like a review. I'm not a I could do a review of it, but it's pretty it's pretty nice. Let me see if I could get a shot of me wearing it so you can see like how big it is. Because a lot of people that was like complaining about the size, but me personally, I don't mind it. To me, too, this would be a great travel bag. I'm gonna also get this in the leather. It comes in leather. I'm gonna get it into in the leather. Some people may feel that I guess this is not a good investment, but this is why I believe this is a good investment because you have other luxury brands that have the same canvas material. The only difference, some of them are coated canvas and this one isn't so i'm gonna scotch guard this bag just to um reduce the color transfer on this bag however the other luxury brands are selling this jacquard and canvas material for 1200 and this one i think i want to say how much was this one Bye, baby. Love you. Oh, so you know what this means? You told me it means I love you. Okay. The retail for this one was three twenty-five. When you go on their website, on the bottom it says student discount. So if you have a school account, you can sign up for a student discount and get ten percent off. So I was able to get ten percent off because I was able to verify that I'm a student through my school email. And I received 10% off of it. I think that if you purchase online, you can keep on going back. It's called Student Beans is the website that gives you the coupon code. And it also gives you access to other retailers that will offer you a student discount. And you can reuse the code for other items. There's a couple of other per bags that I want to purchase. I want to purchase like the mini tote bag in red leather. So I'm going to see if I can reuse the code again for that. And... I'll probably get the book, the not the book, I was about to say book tote. I'll probably get the cognac leather tote in this large size. And some people, like, they don't like the fact that it says the tote bag, Marc Jacobs across it. And they would they would rather a cleaner look. I've seen some reviews where they said on the leather bag, they don't like that it says the tote bag on it. I actually, I think that's part of the appeal. The same way how on the YSL it says Rive Gouche on it. And on the Givenchy, it says Givenchy, like every other luxury brand puts their name on the thing. So I don't see why it's a problem because it's Marc Jacobs. I was going to get the um, the GM Neverfull, but I had um, the Chloe 
I had the Louis Vuitton Chloe before. The straps are thin, and when you fill those bags, like it cuts into your shoulder, and it really hurts. Right now, my work bag, I have the Tory Burch Peri Tote, and the reason why I'm switching out work bags is because the Peri Tote bags are thin, and my shoulders, I have a little weight now, so my shoulders are a little bit chunky, and it's like cutting into my shoulders. And at work, they recently gave me a new laptop, and that new laptop is heavier, and it's like the width combined with the weight in the bag is wearing down my shoulders and it's just hurting which is why i wanted to like upgrade my bag and on my peri tote I, I have a couple of stains my peri tote is in cognac and i do have a lot of things that go on my peri tote so when i i got this i wanted something neutral that would look a little bit you know fancy and more a little bit more um elegant i do like the peri tote i most likely will purchase another one in another color like I see myself purchasing it I only like the peri tote for work um it's not a bag that I will say like I would dress up and wear it out I only like it for work I like to I prefer totes for work or travel the only thing with the peri tote is wide open it's an open mouth so if you live in a metropolitan area and you're on the train someone could easily put their hand in your bag same like they never full you could just put your hand in the bag yes you could cinch the size but canvas cracks like if you don't know if you've never purchased Louis Vuitton canvas cracks and I don't like that and you're and they're raising their prices so high for a material that's not sustainable stand up and I'm going to show you what it looks like I have my soup I have my soup like leaning on something. Let me see where I can put. So this is the bag. I don't have that much light. And this is what the bag looks like. Let me get my tripod so this looks better because I don't know what I'm doing. This is what it looks like. I'm 5'3 and it hits my hip. I don't mind a large bag. I know a lot of people, that was their gripe that the bag was too large. It took up most of their body, but I'm going to be wearing this to work or the airport. And I prefer a carry-on. I, if I don't have to check my bag, I'm not checking my bag. So if I could stuff it, I could put some packing cubes and stuff some stuff in here, which I definitely, I could plan for a trip. The only thing is I probably would have a check bag just for my shoes and my makeup. But this is what the bag looks like. It does need something in it because how it's so light right now, the straps are like falling because my shoulders tired i don't think i would be able to fit my arm through this part on the other one in the in the small size this is my laptop this is a a microsoft something something or the other but it's pretty big right so this is how big it is this is how big my laptop is this is how big my laptop is and it can go in here and I have enough space. Let me show you. I have enough space for it to go in here. It can go in here and I can close it. I can close that. This is what was very important to me that I can close it with my laptop in here. And this part, I see a lot of people confused as to what this thing here is for. Oh, what the, this is just to stop this. It should have a magnet. It should be magnetized. And I guess this one doesn't, but this is just a whole, this part. Like I saw a lot of people saying it's a luggage, lug, lug, luggage tag and all this stuff. Also, like when you put it on your suitcase, like when you put bags on your suitcase, right? As you're rolling through the airport, this part, the handle of your carry-on goes through right here. That's what this is for. You could put that you could anchor the zipper in here and when you're traveling you put it on a suitcase so this will be on your suitcase like this so then you can push your suitcase without having to hold the bag i like when i i kept on seeing videos of people being questioning what that tab is for and i was just so confused i thought 
Like a lot of bags come with that tab. A lot of book bags come with it in the, the, the part that goes in your bag. It has that tab so you can slide your book bag over your suitcase to make it more convenient. For you. This is my Tory Burch Perry Tote. And I feel like I need to put this further back so you can like see me better. Like, so this is my Tory Burch Perry Tote and it hits right here. This is the tote bag. It hits like uh, I want to say an inch lower or oh, actually I think it hits the same place but this bag sits higher and the Tory Burch open is a little lower it's like right here and it's about the same however with this one I can close my laptop in it like my laptop is in it and it doesn't feel heavy this one because the straps are thinner I can feel I can feel the weight of the bag. Also, when I put my laptop in this bag, it's like right here. And that was one of my issues. Like, and it, it kind of like stretches out the bag to capacity like this. So it makes, it makes it hard to stuff anything else. And when I go to work, I go to work with my laptop, my iPad, and I really don't carry much. Like, so this is my work bag for Friday. I have glasses in here, um, my Invisalign tissue. I have like computer wires. I have um, medicine. And in the middle zipper, I just have some more pens. I have my daughter's little toy I like to carry it reminds me of her and i have an asthma pump i really don't carry much in my work bag but what i just i find like this like this feels heavy so i don't know maybe when i put all the this stuff in here um it may be heavier but the straps on this one is thicker so it, at least it's not gonna like indent my shoulders and I drive to work when I drive to work this is going to be on my seat with this one yeah like it's just heavy like it, it's, it's feeling heavy and you can see how thin the straps are compared to how thick these straps are like these straps are way more comfortable than these thin straps But again, you know, I was gonna say, let me know, but look, let me do a thumbnail. Oh no, I have to turn the camera around and do a thumbnail because then this is gonna be backwards. All right, let me turn the camera around. Film me.